morning, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for coming again to the. You're not coming. You're just watching. Sorry, it didn't sound right. But yeah, to the industry episode 11. 11 straight weeks. My producer is tired of me. She wants to. Um, she wants us to take a break so that we can re-strategize, change the set. But that shit ain't happening. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Anyway, um, in the studio with me or in my house, I keep saying studio. It's not a studio, <laughs> but a moving studio. on. <laughs> Do not say studio. It's a studio. This, uh, yeah. So I have Peter Ego, Tosin rather. Uh, Peter yeah, is his father's name. name. Thank hey. you. Tosin right. Ego in the house yeah, because I was reading up on his dad. Sorry. But anyway, yeah, we have Tosin in the house. Uh, Tosin is a i don't even know what to call tosin but he's everything he's a dop editor director uh he's shy everything shy everything yeah, yeah everything. effects especially effects Col- yeah you know rapper, but, i would just act it yet yeah, yeah that's what i have to try you have to try yeah, yeah. but tosin thank you so much for coming yes. through on short notice um let me tell you how tosin came about so yeah. uh, unfortunately we didn't my, my producer <laughs> yeah, kind of like didn't have anybody you know for the day so uh Tosin was supposed to do a recording of me and then he said ah why am i when am i coming on your podcast <laughs> ing, ing, ing. i was like ah, come now <laughs> Let, let's do this now um yeah um so Tosin is here thank you so much for coming yes, thank you so much yes for, yes, yes yes we're here we're here all of us that don't go to church on sunday <laughs> sinners like horse yeah okay, it's production life sunday is the best day to shoot Lovely. so it's a problem Okay, so usually what we normally do is that we talk about mm-hmm. uh, things that have uh, gone on during the week, and usually they're always film-related, but for the past week, <laughs> last Sunday, we didn't talk about anything okay. related. Uh, we talked about uh, Vector versus MI. Wow, wow. Okay. And update! <laughs> bing, bing, bing! Vector, Vector just released a, a reply. Is it rats? Rats, rats. No rats. Like, Judas the rats. Judas the rats. Or whatever. Judas rats. Yeah, so we're going to be talking about that. So yeah, what do you man. think? Honest. I mean, I, I think these guys are just calling out themselves because <laughs> it's personal now. No. Yeah. I, I mean, uh, Vector was on Jesse Jack's ass on that thing, and yeah. I think it's MI's beef. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, why you? Why call Jesse Jack? Why? Why? Yeah. Why, yeah. Why, why pull it? Why? Why use that on the guy? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I get. I get. Oh, it's beef. We have to go on. Yeah. But Jesse Jack's just doing out. <laughs> <laughs> Jesse Jazz is just chilling. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. And I say stuff like Jesse Jazz is not successful. He's not making it. Do you know what I'm saying? It's yeah. I, I, I still feel like the verse was not a very strong comeback. Mm-hmm. Um, that's uh, Vector's verse. I still feel like, and this is not me. I'm not being biased. I don't know MI. It's not like he's paying my school fees or he's mm. paying my rent. Not school fees. Uh, yeah. <laughs> school fees of life. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I don't think, I think that MI's, like MI killed it, especially with his Big Brother performance, especially with the whole No Six Snakes tour. The verse itself, the punchlines. Vector, I like. I, uh, Vector started explaining himself in the damn song. Like you know, went for Jesse Jack. Like I don't know. No, but the thing about it is like even with their music careers now, like mm. MI is is I had the Jay Z thing where a song was not just a song; it was a whole movement. Yeah, all his songs had something to it. But Vector is Vector is a good artist. It's dope. His lyric is, is dope. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. But MI always had that spectacle of the song. So when Vector dropped the freest, uh, his beef track, and MI dropped his own, there was a spectacle to yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It wasn't just about the song again. It was the way he dropped it. Yeah. What he did, it blew out of proportion. Vector yeah. doesn't have that razzmatazz. Nope. Like in fact, let me check it as well. You get what I'm saying? Well, so, Vector's uh, no rats or whatever was trending. No, but yeah, but, but, but I mean, like you know, he yeah, still but, had his punchlines. He still a beef track. Yeah. He's not taking it personal, so I'm sure it, it, it must have hurt him. I releasing releasing DMs. You know what like, I'm saying? Yeah, it's personal now. Now it's no longer like just bitch move, Vector. Yeah, like, I, it's you know, I know you. It's not like yeah. I'm going to watch this podcast yeah. anyway. But yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna be releasing DMs, man. It made it very personal. Now it's personal. I mean, like I would say. In this situation, if I was Emma, I'd just chill. I don't think like, Emma said he wasn't going to respond. I just chill, just free, but just let it, just let it, die, just let it die down. It's fine because it because it's evident that if he does, Vector will do. Yeah, but you know, you, so, you, you know, know how this rap beef happens. All the all Emma's guys behind it, like Baba, you go boss reply. <laughs> Baba, if you don't reply, you fuck <laughs> off. But I mean, but you know, we're not, we're not, we're not like gangster like that. Man, it's just gonna keep on going on tracks, tracks. And yeah, you get, never if, know. It'll get boring. You never know. No, but it's not how it's not how to fuck and biggie up. Yeah, no, those guys had go, guns. Go. Those <laughs> guys had guns in their house. Now. I mean, how many guns they might be? How many guns Vector will get? 
<laughs> are, we, are we going to see Emma and Victor on the street? <laughs> <laughs> then they get but finally, on this note, everybody's clamoring for a rap battle between them. Um, everybody's like, oh, Vector will kill MI because... It, no, but Vector. the truth is, if they do a rap battle, that is a possibility. If it's stand to stand freestyling, it might be a possibility. Because, you know what I'm saying, if it's on the track, MI will kill him. But if he's standing there, Vector has... I mean, he's not the one that has a record of how many Two hours. hours. So he might, he might win. Standing in front of each other. Well, anyway. Uh, you get what I'm saying? It's all good. Uh, you know, MI Vector... You know, let peace reign. You know, we don't want no guns blazing. Just do a track together, right? Just do a track publicity. together. You know, we just and let's all move on. Hey, <laughs> like, there are other things to think about. Like <laughs> I was about to say, like, we're already getting the second one, but that's fake. It's fake news. I said it was fake news, though. I said it was fake news. Yeah, moving on. So, um, but is, so, that, is that where do you? Where do you hit? It was you trending. can't just throw that. <laughs> <laughs> it was actually no, no, no. It was trending like mm-hmm. two days ago that like, it was getting the new one, right. but it was a lie anyway. But yeah. Nigeria is not. I, th- I think it was PDP. I, I was kidding. I don't know. PDP stands for People's Don't Party. <laughs> so, <laughs> people don't people party. don't party. So yeah. Anyway, moving on. Uh, Tosin, thank you so much for coming. I'm gonna read Tosin's bio. That and yeah, I'm not going to read yeah. your age. Yeah, don't read your age. Yeah, for yeah, me, I don't. I'm not. Yeah, you know, I'm old. I'm old. Okay. But, you have, so you don't have, but you don't have to. Sure. <laughs> but should I, I should read it? Should I should I'm old. It? Okay, I'm old. I'm old. I'm old. I'm so, not that old, child, so. Okay. So, uh, <laughs> me, I'm older than you. Dad. This guy stopped this rubbish. <laughs> okay, so Tosinigo was born on 28th of September. <laughs> At the early parts of his career, he was a musician. We're going to talk about yes, that. Yes, yes, yes. Called Ego. Yeah. With songs like Niger Boy, which that's the famous video. That's the one I Everybody knows. Everybody knows. That's, that's, it way out. that's like years after you watch your this is particular. You, you are old. There's one song that this girl just mentioned. Yes. I, me, I don't even know the song. Some people know it. Tenny, Tenny, we have to talk about this. Rock the party. I don't think you are really the way you are. I think you're like 35. Five. Yes, that's it. You just, you're not lying to me. Anyway. Um, so yeah, it, with songs like Niger Boy, he worked with musicians like Terry G, Faze, Omar Omi, amongst others. This led to him... Yeah, like I said. Lead, <laughs> this lead left me <laughs> to South Africa to, to the film school, ADFA. South Africa school. AFDA, AFDA. AFDA. AFDA, after. Oh, AFDA. Yes, AFDA. What did I write there? ADFA. Oh, sorry. AFDA. AFDA, after. South African School of Motion. Yeah, South African... Is that the same school that Clarence Peters went to? No, Clarence went to another school. Okay. So I uh, went to after South African School of Motion Pictures. There he was school, signed yeah. to Sony BMG in the group The Pyramid. Yes. And as a producer, where he produced two number one songs and a track that made it to DJ Khaled's mixtape. Sure, you're fucking. Kidding. I'm serious. But DJ Khaled was not DJ Khaled that we know now. Yes, DJ Khaled was DJ Khaled. I always have big big boys on my. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> like joking styles, shit. <laughs> okay, so um. After getting his degree in the motion picture medium, he began shooting music videos for artists like the band Jimmy Jad, David O, Orezi, Fez, Vec. Oh. <laughs> 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 and he moved on to filmmaking with his first cinema movie titled The Eve. We're going to talk about, <laughs> 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 well, talk about that movie. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> talk about it. Uh, starring Bevelina, Remy, Mr. Ibu, amongst producing a children's TV show called Once Upon a Time, which was an African Magic Family, yes. mm-hmm. and introducing the next cinema film called Seven. We're going to talk about that the evening now. God damn it. Oh, don't God. Talk about, don't talk about it. But I'll move it into my second question. So, for those of you who don't know, or uh, some of you are listening to the podcast and you're like, ah, Ego, Ego, I know that name. Yes, yeah, his father. Right. Um, was Peter Ego. That's why what I said, what, that's why I called him Peter because I was reading about his dad, um, who was director general for NTA way back in the day. Apparently, his dad was executive producer for Things Fall Apart. Um, um, there is to plenty. Tales Fall Apart. Tales by Moonlight. Yeah. I, I can just keep going. New Masquerade is plenty. Yeah, that, plenty. that the golden age yeah, of NTA. Yeah, the yeah, golden age of NTA. The the golden age of NTA. NTA. You know, his dad was a big part of it. He, you know, his dad was one of the people responsible for some of those old things that you yes. watched yeah. um so my my, my checkmates. yeah checkmates so my first question is how did your dad um being an mta influence your filmmaking no i was i was an mta child man. i was i i my school was at drown it was the building next to nta mm. so i finished school i finished class i walked to nta and sat down in the studios mm. i mean like my dad also something i also did myself but that was also he used to rent equipment out so in our houses there were cameras. So I used to steal the camera when anybody was around, <laughs> put on Snoop Dogg or whatever case I mind and wow. new stuff and switch stuff on. I actually was messing with the stuff early on. So I mean like I was always around the equipment, always around the stuff. At some point I was the one handing out the equipment, the people who came in mm-hmm. doing registers and stuff like that. And I was always around the NTA, the edit suites, 
when we were in the group Immaculate, the first music video we did, we they just gave us an NTA suite and we were just hustling <laughs> until one editor and NTA came around and helped us. So I mean, I, I just fell into it basically. Do you yeah. understand? What I'm saying? So, so how does it feel now, like seeing you taking? Because like that's that's what, like one of the, the 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 biggest thing for him now is back in the day in his time, you had to shoot here, travel to London to edit, do sound somewhere. So when he sees me in one room. He's just like mind blown, like, <laughs> <laughs> like how are you able to do this and do this and do this and do that and do that? Because he's it's his own time it was not possible. You had to travel to UK for one yeah. guy to edit, they travel to another country for one guy to do sound, and it was that's how, just how it worked. Yeah. And so for him, the biggest shock is about seeing me doing. Oh, I'm finishing editing. I'm going to do sound this one, and, so, and you are going to do it yourself in the same place. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm sure it's like, what the hell? <laughs> it's like, what the but has he ever been like, so show me how this thing is done? No, I know. The father is a, a big boy. No, no, he's tired. Yeah. He's not. I mean, yeah, but he's, he's not. I he's mean, he should now. still be interested in, in. Yeah, I wouldn't say he's, 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 he's as interested as. Um, he he, if you want him to get, you have to really push. But he's not really, so he's not really as concerned as, you know, mostly just, he, I heard your son did this. Okay, well, okay. Does, does he watch your, your stuff? Yeah, he watches my stuff. What does he think about it? I, I always like, for instance, now, like me, I'm, I've always been the kind of guy to not just go off my head. Mm. Okay, if I do something, I, I always want to get a fresh eye. So even I brought my stuff to you, so I always do that. Hey, check. What's what up? Because yeah. I mean, I've learned that although you're making the project by yourself, but honestly, honestly, it's not exactly for you. Yeah, it's for a consumer. It's for a consumer. So yeah. you kind of have to, and sometimes when you're working in a room for so long, you tend to not see again. So I always get as, as a segue. A lot, I, I think a lot of filmmakers forget that they make films for film for yeah, consumers. Film. They think they make the films for themselves, especially when people come and say your film was trash. <laughs> then yeah. they are now like, no, it's, I didn't make it for you. Like, fuck you, you made it for us. <laughs> but anyway, it. moving on. <laughs> yeah, no. Okay. So next question is: So yeah, you are an NTA boy. Yeah. You were exposed to all this stuff, but you went to go do music. Yeah. Yes. No. What happened? We. I, I honestly I don't know. <laughs> we just did, we were just chilling. We started rapping. Next thing you know, I picked up a lot. My brother showed me software because I mean, like I started producing because my brother showed me it's Fruity Loops two was it one that time? This is years ago, and he just played me a beat. I said, ah, so you can actually make your own stuff. And then from there, I just started tapping. Then we started writing music and we started rapping. And this was I was like fourteen, fifteen, and we did it till the point where we now form a group. Immaculate. Save money. <laughs> Save money. Went to the studio, paid, and we recorded. And while we we're recording, there was what's his name, Femi Lasoli. I don't know anybody knows. I know Femi Lasoli. Femi Lasoli walks in the studio and just sees this small, sixteen-year-old boy. Who, who are you? Who are you? <laughs> Come and he was listening to the stuff. Cause he, I mean, I, I mean, like, it wasn't bad. It was. It was I know Femi, Femi Lasoli had a studio. Yeah. yeah so exactly, went to the studio, yeah. recording at the studio. What, what name? What name of the studio? So. Like, you know, like it was, it's it, not even Ezra. Is it even Ezra? Even Ezra. See, these guys are not more. So. <laughs> even Ezra. <laughs> <laughs> so we went to Even Ezra. We paid for a session. I mean, like, it was kind of, we just got saved money. We went, paid, recorded. We recorded, this is what happened. We recorded three songs. And but I remember back then, like, we didn't even know what to do with a hook. I had a teddy bear that just pulled and sang some India. We just recorded that. Wow. I said, that's what we did. We did. And uh, this is what happened. It was shock. It was like, it, you know, like how you don't believe something's going to happen. It's possible. And we, we, two days, like a week later, we drove to Cool FM. Small 15, 16 year old boy. Knocked on the door, said, we have a CD. Olisa. Oh, Olisa was still trimmed. Olisa <laughs> <laughs> walks out. You know what I'm saying? Says, ah, well, you know, okay, give me. And he takes it. And he, he, he you know what I'm saying? He, he, we, we leave. As we leave, he takes our phone number. Then in the car, he calls and says, This stuff is nice, I'm going to play it. I mean, wow. my nigga went crazy in the car. Do you know what I'm saying? Went crazy in the car, went home. The next day, the song was on radio. Uh-uh. Do you know what I'm saying? The song was on radio. It wasn't like, it wasn't like there was any proper plan. The song was on radio. Bam, next we went to another radio station. That song, the song was on radio. And from there, you know, from there, it was the case was, Okay, ah. somebody goes up to my dad and says, Your son's music is playing, blah, 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 blah. And I said, ah, Okay. He calls me up and I say, eh, I'm thinking of maybe I should shoot a music video. And he says, okay, eh, whatever the case is. Then I go to NTA and I start speaking to cameraman and someone says, okay, if I was going to shoot a music video. And then some guys like, okay, I'll help you out. I'll help you out. I'll help you out. Then luckily I know 
Yeah, but even if I was a young boy, I used to be a very wayward. <laughs> <laughs> Say wayward. How how wayward? As in, you don't expose yourself. As in, I was a secondary school boy, had uni like babes. Wow. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> uni like wow. Wow. Woo. I used to go to go and park my car outside my room. <laughs> as a 16 year old child, and you know what I'm saying and we had babes mm-hmm. so I knew someone who knew the owner of 1145 a babe so she now spoke to uh, spoke to the owner of 1145 apparently he even now knew an uncle of mine called Yinka Craig Yinka Craig is your uncle? Uh, not like, not, like no, not blood, but Yinka Craig is it's like an uncle uh, Yinka Craig is the one that said took me to film school wow. so when I said to him I see you are doing a few things here you should go and for the other side, you want to appoint me to found the school. Wow, and he said, Went to took me, went flew with me. To, his assistant flew with me to South Africa, Woo. took me. You know, what I'm saying he, he was he, that was before he passed. Now. He yeah, was, yeah, if he yeah. as in that, that guy was, yeah. the guy Greg was, you know, what I'm saying he was the man, forget he oh. was the man with the, the God plan. damn it, all right, man. Yeah, yeah. so uh, so then you know, when he he reached out to me, they eventually found out that he was friends with Inka Craig, and then he kind okay, of gave us the club. Hmm. We shot the first video, which is that song actually. Oh, no, man! <laughs> <laughs> that came out. We we're 17, it's, and then yeah, we just started performing, doing shows, traveling. We even the first Big Brother ever. We were on tour with them around Nigeria. You are fucking yeah. kidding me! <laughs> so I think like so things were like pretty easy for you. Like your dad supported you. You had an uncle that supported you. You had babes that supported you. <laughs> you know? No, what I'm saying is like it wasn't like anybody really did anything. Things just kind of just happened. Do you understand? Know it wasn't like, oh, hey, you want to sing? I'll take you to this place. It was just the case that we went to make music, and the thing was, it was so it was so like different from what was happening mm. that people had to react. Mm-mm. You get what I'm saying? It yeah. wasn't, I would say it wasn't actually mainstream music. That's why not everybody knows about it. But it just like it sounded very foreign. Because mm. I, like, uh-huh. I remember that I remember that the the other the song which is. Sorry, let this me get. Uh, yeah, like nah, this is, you were like with a bunch of guys. Uh, yeah, so at, at this point, I've, I'm matured a bit. I kind of know what's happening. Uh, I'm rapping. Uh, you get what I'm saying? So yeah, it's, yeah. it's different. I'm older a bit here. This yeah. Is, okay. So what what was it like? That was in South. I, I was in South Africa then. when you shot that. Yeah, so know. what was the change for you? So Uncle on, on, Uncle Yinka, um, you know, was the guy who said, <clears throat> "I see you doing blah 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 blah," and then you know took you to film school and everything. But why? come straight back to film because like i said <clears throat> i used to watch you way back on nt2 channel 5 like you know that your ego was like man what is this nigga you know you know <laughs> rapping and shit no but the film the film was always the main the main thing the main thing film was always the main thing film was always what i wanted to do in the first place film yeah. was the plan that's the reason why i went to film school yeah but in the midst of making music i was shooting short films messing around in the house that's what they saw do you understand yeah uh-huh. okay so then you went to film school, did all you needed to do. How was film school like for you? I, yeah, it was it was it was amazing. Man. Film school was one of the best things that I, I mean, it was a wonderful experience. And I was also still doing music. So when, when I got there, same it's, like I said, similar. Type, I got there, I met my neighbor, and my neighbor, he was a musician, and he had a friend who was a musician, and they now had an investor who went to start a music group. But they didn't have like studios and stuff. And when I moved into the place, I moved in with equipment. I was the producer, so I was just like the missing link. And it's okay. This guy's dope. We hooked up. We did recorded a few songs. Next thing, Sony BMG. We're in Sony BMG's meeting. They're what? giving us contracts. The guy actually was dope. Oh. <laughs> As in, yeah, it was. Dope. I had monthly salary. I was getting my royalties. Guy, the last time I went to South Africa, I still got like a millionaire check. You based You're on kidding money. me? Yes. So, cut off royalties from. My, I got my royalties. I was producing. I was a musician. They shot music videos. I was smart. Cause what I did was okay. So why, why, so you guys shooting? That's how I started shooting music videos again. Mm. Instead of the record label sh- paying some company, I said, "Look, I am film school." And I went to my lecturers and I said, "Look, guys, look, you guys have film equipment. I'm a student. Why don't we do these music videos? This is the budget that Sony is giving." And they're like, "Okay, great. Yeah, it's sharp boy. Bring the job here." I go to Sony. <laughs> This only gives us gives me the budget. I take it to my own school. I make my own small cut. We shoot the music videos high quality on film because of where you know what I'm saying. Yeah. And Sony's impressed. Videos come out, bam. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, people from blood inside eh? No, no. Like I said, one <laughs> of me I realized is that like, example. You see, like your phone, eh? like with your phone. Who said this? Your phone has contacts. Eh? That's most all the contacts in the world. You just have to use it. 
to call that's the people what it is. and ask. Like, yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? I'm just think, Somebody has said that thing. Yeah, I think, I think it's, it's, it's Ryan yeah. Leslie. Oh, Ryan, Le- Ryan Leslie! Yeah, I watched I saw that podcast yeah, where he was like, that. yeah. So, I mean, like, when you think about stuff, and when he says that, okay, actually, that's the truth. If you just, as far as, it's as far as I'm bringing something to you that's valuable, I mean, something to him that's valuable, I, they, will, they will be interested. So, wow. so okay. after that, I started making music videos in that fashion. Like, yeah. I would, when I came back to Nigeria, I met up with, I think I started with FaZe. Yeah. Poco Rico, um, all those his videos. Poco Rico, I think they're like four or five or something. That one I was dancing on the street. Yeah. Poco I, I really love that one. Yeah, Poco Rico. So that was me. That was me. So I went to face and said, look, look at this video that we did of my own team. And I said, come this around. So, wait, so the lucky thing I was do, I was getting was. Now. So wait, I'm one of those people that used to, all these essay, essay directors. These yeah, I was, I, please, make that. Oh I was one that even started the whole essay. It started from there. So. When phase now came, when phase came, um, when I was shooting, what, what I was doing was look, I had school now, mm. so I was used, the school needed projects, so they were giving students projects. So it was a case where I could shoot a music video. Let's say you paid me ten million naira, because it's a school project. I'm not going to tell them, hey, take two million. <laughs> the students are going to work for free. They are going to edit for. Free. Do you understand? It's a project that they're going to get. Yeah. So they are even just happy to get a project yeah. uh, for the forty years because I was the first year. And I was getting 40 years project. Hmm. So and I was sometimes I was and I was directing the 40 hours. The whole crew was the 40 years. You get on. So it, it helped me a lot in school. Yeah, I, it it just gave me levels. <laughs> it just gave me levels in high school. Like I was now like at, at the end of the year, is my videos I'll be playing yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, in school. So it was it, it helped a lot. And I was getting it, and I was actually the truth is I was actually making a lot of money. Yeah. Because of the whole setup and the whole the way the plan worked out. Wow. It was very beneficial. So every so all the artists that came then I was just shoot and shoot and shoot and shoot and shoot and shoot. And there were plenty, man. Everybody, I'm going to South Africa to shoot. I'm going to South Africa to shoot. Nah, no, easy, no, easy, no, easy. Okay, so, so you told us about, you know, yeah, at some point you came back to Nigeria, blah, blah, I blah, blah, when blah. I, when I finished school, even when I was coming back, it was like, honestly, I can tell you, I don't, I don't know how this sounds, I hope it doesn't sound bad, <laughs> but now nah, I think about it, I shall stay. <laughs> <laughs> Which brings me to what, why, why, so why should you have stayed? What do you think about the industry now, where it's at? No, I think is that one of the reasons why you should have stayed? I think first of all, first of all, a number of things happened. First of all, in coming back, music wise, the industry changed. So all, all of us who grew up on like 50 cents and they were growing up the Snoop Dogg or Tupac on the kisses, the music changed. So our stuff was now, you know, it wasn't forefront before, but think about it now, all, the, all of us, uh, me, San, um, Sanchez, Sanchez. Yo, said, by the uh, way, Sanchez. Sa- did we discuss that when Sanchez was here? No. We didn't discuss that Sanchez Cartier. was a rapper. No, I said it now. I said it, I said it. Yeah, Cartier, Cartier. There, there are a number of rappers that were coming up at that point in time. None of them, nobody. There's none. That's in literally no. You get where I'm coming from? Nobody. So the industry changed. On those people, and we we me I was at least I was lucky enough that there were plenty of other things, so I could just yeah, do make thing. my decision. So that was that's one. Two, the film industry is, is still it's still in a like it's, you know now it's still yeah. in a in a, a what's it called? We're trying to figure out. Sorry. No, I think what I think the problem now is even the streamline between uh, creator and distributor. How okay if I make a film now? How am I going to say, oh, as I'm releasing this film, I project I'm going to make. Biggest that, problem. That is not there. It's not there. Yeah, it's, you're in limbo. Even, do you understand what I'm saying? I think some people have, but even if you check the numbers, it doesn't make sense. Yeah. It's not, they're still not making money, but they are making money. It's just that, eh, we will figure out eventually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. But the guys who are actually, they are, the ones that are releasing movies frequently are making money. If you actually went to go look at the numbers yeah, on the books, it's not, the money is not there. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know I feel, trust me. But we know that they are making money. I've always, I've always had Do this conversation. <laughs> no, every time, money. like when people go, if only filmmakers were open enough to show the books and let uh-huh. people know that okay, this is actually they, they will actually know the truth. Every time people go like, oh, this movie made forty million. It was like, oh my gosh, this movie made hundred million. Uh, it's not but when you do the numbers. Yeah, that's not. Uh, that, that's, and, uh-huh. and we talked about it two podcasts ago, uh-huh. like. Um, as a filmmaker, you release a movie in the cinemas, you make like hundred M, you're walking away with thirty million. That's actually how much you're walking yeah, that's, away. That's you haven't added tax. Yeah. No, that that's plus the tax, everything. You are just walking away with thirty percent of that money. Yes, for hundred.
hundred or hundred million, thirty percent of anything you make gross, mm-hmm. is uh, that's what you're working with. But anyway, that's that's and that's minus what you spent and everything. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Okay, so the, so you, so for you, the industry is in. No, I, I think it's, it's we're we're pushing it now. We're trying to figure it out. Every time, yeah, I'm trying to look at it as a business mm. on how or ways around to figure. And every time you do something, you learn. Okay, this was the case, but I think it will work out, and when it works out, it'll be big, mm. and it'll be profitable. But what I'm just saying is that, like, it's take it is going it's going to take a sweet time. Yeah, and it's going to get there. To grow. And then the, the most profitable things are mostly are TV for me. You yeah, understand what I'm saying TV is kind of where okay, you get where I come from. But lo- now, but now the music industry has figured it out. Yeah. But the movie industry yeah, has. Yeah, has, has figured it out. Okay, which brings me to because I was gonna ask you yeah, like. TV, but we'll get to that. Um, so let's talk about your projects. The first one. <laughs> that's the not Eve. the first project. Like, it's not the first one. No, that's, that's the one we on. Oh yeah, what's the first one? We'll get there. There are a couple of short films. <laughs> yeah. Before, before, yeah, yeah. yeah, we'll get there. So yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, you know what I'm saying, guys? You know, what, let me just hit you with the question. Don't Why like, don't ah. you like the Eve? Because I've seen a bit of it. Uh-huh. And honestly, don't lie, speaking, don't lie, don't no, 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 I'm not even going to lie. Like, see, me, we're very honest in this yeah. <laughs> on this podcast. Me. Look, I'm going to say two ways. First things first, I appreciate the hard work that went into it. Everybody makes. Fun. I know it looks beautiful. Yeah, it looks it beautiful. Looks beautiful. To, to, uh, let me That's let me problem. let me even put a caveat or a disclaimer. Yeah. Look, I've done some shitty stuff in my own life, <laughs> okay, and I will name them. One of them is called Head Over Heels. It's showing currently on African Magic <laughs> Showcase. It's fucked up, but yeah, you know, I don't like it. Uh-huh. Maybe other people do, but there were a lot of mistakes there, and it was a learning pro- uh, yeah. process for me. That being said, so I've yapped my own stuff yeah, okay, now. So, so that being said, now. yeah, what happened with the Eve? Eh, like I see, see, luckily for me, I'm very technically technical savvy. So I, I don't know if I said that right. Or, mm. eh, but so that's why you can see, regardless, it will look beautiful. Because I mean, I was a DOP. I I was a cinematographer. I did the color correction. I did some of the editing. I did, I tried to fix some of the audio, but it's fine. But the honest truth is, number one, the story. <laughs> story. <laughs> story is. Because I don't know, there was, there, there was a bit of singing in yeah, there, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, was, I thought it was a musical. I think, yeah, yeah, you know, because no. I'm like, because I was watching it one day, and like, oh, yeah, I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, like, well, like, well, like, well, like, well, like, well, like, well, look, see, look, look. <laughs> the story, see, even, even the music. But the producers the of the film, not, forgive well, me, look, man. The music is not, per se, bad. Like, you could watch those scenes. Yeah. But the story... It was written. No, by, no, 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 Four, three, <laughs> five, four. I mean, like, it's out like, of 104! So, no, I mean, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40 out of 10, ah. 40, 30, 35, 40. I, I want to say, I just think that, first of all, they, like I said, there was a writer. Mm. And it was hand, there and was, was a writer. And I, I was like, okay, shift this, pull, shift this in a way. <laughs> but, <laughs> but it was one of those situations where you had someone who you look you looked up to and you know okay some let's say i had someone like say the kakre involved and like i said look like say for instance now you are this year showing i said i need you to come here and do mm. this and you say but this is the situation said mm, if you want to change anything go and change this is the much time you have but i need you to do this thing you're doing it self quiet mm, 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 mm. you know what i'm saying you're going to do it so that was that that situation so it was like it was already as as i was going in <laughs> yeah, just green. Like, <laughs> just, 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 just wear your bag like this. <laughs> <laughs> we're just, going, we're going in, and we're going in. And we, we went in, <laughs> and and it came out. <laughs> I mean, like the, the 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 what the story even touches on in the first place is, you know, what I'm saying is, mm. and but but what I know is funny enough is. A lot of people have seen it on when it was on um what's the DSTV's box the office. Catch up. Uh, box of, no, 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 box, box office rather, sorry. And a lot of people have loved it. They love the singing. But you know what I think? I think I think this is something that we do in Nigeria. Eh? 
We just like it because the Nigerian food. <laughs> Hey, you get what I'm saying? No, no, I, I hear you. I think I, I hear you do that. A lot. I think a lot think of people give excuses. Yeah, they are, I hear fine. you. And I mean, I would say even on my own project, I did not believe. I, but the response I got, I, I kind of understand. Okay, these guys. I think there's a bar mm. eh, in Nigeria for filmmakers. It's like this. No, but let me tell you. No, 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 I'm just saying you can choose. You can choose yourself to just stay there with you. No, let me be honest. Or with you can. Let me be honest with you. Uh-huh. A lot of people don't appreciate um, criticism. So even when something comes out and you don't like it, somebody will feel like you're beefing. Like, I've, and I've learned from the two shows that we've done that everybody can't like the shows. I'll give you an example. Mm-hmm. So on this new show that we have, I felt like, oh, we did great with um, the costuming mm-hmm. and stuff. And I remember when I was test, test showing the show to Tenny, my wife, and a couple of people. And everybody, there was a particular character that had this dress. And everybody was like, oh my gosh, I like the dress. Da, 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 da. Once it went on TV, somebody went and took a picture and said, what is this? <laughs> this is rubbish. <laughs> like, there was like, like, like 25 comments on that. Like, oh my gosh, I can't deal. This, this. And I was like, ah! You know, what? you know, I mean, yeah, yeah, hey, normal. you know, it's normal. You have, you have it's normal. normal. If somebody normal. feels like, oh, no, they don't like the story, like that, that's cool. But there are some things I can't speak on, even as a film director, because everybody will be like, mm, have you done your own? Like me, I always tell people, I've done a bad TV show. When I watch it every day, I'm cringing. It's that show any dances. I've recorded all, most of the episodes. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm always like this, like, <laughs> But the best that I could do is do something else and be better off in the next yeah, project. Yes, yeah, right. So do you have any regrets of doing the show? I can't have regrets. Of, of being <laughs> Eve. No, like I said, it, it still it still showed some skill. Yeah. It's it's it, it still showed okay, a lot of people see it. Some people say, Man, this is it's beautiful. We love the way it looks. Some people love the music. They love the some people like the styling as well and stuff. Mm-hmm. And they love the actors. Mm. But I'm just saying, like, uh, from my own perspective, that's still surface <laughs> stuff. But get what I'm saying? It's still so. I mean, like, you could watch the baddest quality. Yeah. With the, okay, not bad sound. Baddest quality, but that like, you hold something. Yeah. It'll be a film. Like, you'd watch that bad quality movie and it will hold you. Yeah, but I, I, I like how you. I, I, I prefer that. I like how you yeah. own, owned up to. Do you know what I'm saying? I prefer that. How you owned up to. Okay, so tell us about Seven. I've seen the trailer for Seven, mm-hmm. even though it's not out there. Like, it yes. was a. It's a teaser. It was a teaser. teaser. Yeah. yeah. Um, someone showed it to me, and I think it was brilliant. I've watched. Yeah. You've, you've made you watched me watch the, the, the entire yes, film. Yeah. Yeah, but I watched it without color correction. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, so, so you saw it now with color correction. Yeah, and I saw it. I was like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> so tell us, tell us about that. Hey, that, was, it, that one is, it's, this one is, is, is good. I think it's a better... Your it, revenge it, it, project. It, it, no, it's not actually not my revenge project. <laughs> ah! That's the thing, actually not my revenge. This is not actually my revenge project. I don't think I, I'm not, I've not gotten the chance yet, but I, what I'm doing now is, uh, forget everything, I'm going to make chance myself. Yeah. And make, um, this, this, this was, it was funded by Bank of Industry. Okay. So there was some influence. I can, I can give you, I can tell you some, something sneaky idea. I hope I, hope I don't get in trouble for this. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I probably don't just say it. <laughs> <laughs> Give us a summary. Quick it's, it, like you know, when you are, when you work with when you're doing something with that, with someone like that, there's a lot of influence on okay, what you should do and stuff like that, story wise. Okay, so okay. I kind of said okay, sent in something dummy and did something else. Uh, <laughs> <ooh>. <laughs> but along the because the if the premise for seven was it was it was something like okay, I wanted to make another film. But this was okay. You know, we're not going to let you make this if we are going to work with you. This is yeah. what you okay. So we have to sit down and deliberate on an idea. Mm. So the idea is what I now took and said, okay, send them a dummy version of the yeah, idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, hey guys, but so when, I br- when, I br- when I brought the nobody said anything. Yeah, said, okay, it's nice. Yeah. Huh? So All right, cool, cool, cool. So like I said, it's it's good. It's a great film. Stars RMD, Bimbo Manuel, Daddy Shoki, FR. FR that we keep, Our using, guy. we keep using FR. Yeah. Use, you have to stop it. <laughs> <laughs> Uche, Uche. Uche, uh, yeah, fine girl. Yeah. Yes, yes. Fine. yeah she, 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 she was in the film. She was very hot in the film. She was in the film. Yes, yeah. she, was in the, <laughs> she was in the film. She was in the film. I mean, every time she was on, that's all we could see. Yeah, she was hot. I love you. No, man. she was fine. We, no, we I love you, Fatima. That's what I was trying to say. Like, yes, Fatima. Yes. I wasn't talking about you. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, yeah. So, but so one question I wanted to ask. I mean, we we basically talked about you, but most times the, the podcast is usually um, some sort of educative and stuff. There's one thing that, like I said in the beginning, that you do, and I and I want you to to talk about that. So basically, you edit, you color correct, you yeah, design I, effects, I write, you sound, I direct, write. I shoot, I edit, I color correct, I do my audio mixing. And my final mixes, I do visual effects. How, how, and sometimes I produce the music. <laughs> how do you manage to do it all? I, it, it, like I said, it, it came out of most. Of it, it came out of necessity. 
like I need someone to do this, and you know Nigeria is. Mm. Uh-huh. But I mean, I I I think I would have to stop because it's it's not um, it's not, I don't think anybody should really be doing that much on one project. Yeah. Or, you know what I'm saying? I don't think I think I have to stop. It, although it's 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 still good, but I probably need to find people. The problem is finding like now I want to shoot a film now. I need to find a DOP that's better. That's the problem. Okay, mm. I need to find someone that's better. If I get on set and I can see you are not better than me, mm. then I know this film can be better. <laughs> <laughs> that's the problem. You get what I'm saying? If I get an editor and he's cutting a scene and I know I'm a better editor than this guy, that's the problem. What do I do now? Do I just... So I need... You know what I'm saying? So the idea is, once I... If I find someone that's better than me, I'm wonderful. Mm. And I'm not I'm not the type of guy who's, oh, you must do it like this. Okay, I thought it was good. I remember, I, 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 remember good. I remember one time when I did this TV show that I didn't like, Head Over Heels. The first episode, the editor had brought the episode to me and I said, no, come and sit down beside me. So I was like, ah, okay, cut here. After like five minutes, I was like, you know what, hold on. I was like, just leave the room. I'll call you. <laughs> just took the computer. <laughs> <Cut yourself. laughs> That's what I'm saying. That's what usually I'm, because it's, I mean, like the way me I see editing, editing especially, is kind of like the most important thing. I mean, and, and I find that most Nigerian editors do not edit for emotion yeah or like you don't edit for a feeling or an emotion they just cut it mm. and give you i'm like okay yeah you cut it i can see transitions i can see but how does this make you feel right yeah. now do you know what I'm saying? What, what is like it like when doing? this character was angry <laughs> i didn't I, see yeah, the you know anger you know, how does it make you feel why are you this? not trying to amplify what needs to be amplified yeah. and so they're just like what are you saying because most of the time it's once you approve it it's fine they don't yeah. get they don't so that's it once they approve it, it's fine it's not, and that's what i'm saying like there's a bar in yeah. Nigeria. There's a bar with editors, cinematographers, sound designers, whatever the case is. I mean, most Nigerian films don't even do fully. Yeah, they don't. It's not, it's not even like they together. Don't. There's a bar, and because the industry is accepting that bar, the producers are accepting that bar. That's why I, the producers are accepting that bar. People are accepting the bar. It might stay at that bar. Mm. I think a lot of people, are, they're, they're trying to really... They're moving out of, of that bar. They're trying to go higher. That's the truth. And uh, even though some people get... Some people are making fun of those guys that are trying to go high. Hey, no, I, I, I get why they're making fun of us now, of people. Because the truth is, guy, you go do um, you go kill yourself, you die. This guy will do it once in two weeks, and he might actually get more acclaim than yeah, you. Yeah, true. So why why are you so those guys like why are you suffering yourself? Why are you going to go and push it here? No, they would. They would. We can run it here and just chug bar. So any future plans? Like what? What? Like what? Um, I know. Like you said, oh, I didn't want to come back. Are you running away very soon, or do you want to? No, stay no, to I'm, 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 I know I'm here. Okay, so I'm here. Yeah. I'm, I'm actually starting trying to start a film studio. Then actually, we dishing out two films a year. I have two yeah. scripts for, you know, writing. Uh, the seven is coming out very soon. Then I have plan is to have two more films next year. So what I'm what I'm doing is I kind of have created like a business module that can mm. actually work mm. in terms of how much you spend and how much you put out. Yeah. Yeah. Basically, with that. Also, I'm still going to be doing TV stuff. Because and that's where the money is at. Yeah. Then, yeah. then that's it. Then I'm going. I'm actually going into training as well now. That's that. That's that's the. I'm going to that's like I love to hear that because I feel yeah. like there is a huge gap, uh, and yeah. then the only way we can do that is to train people. Yes. Yeah, so I, I actually want to go. So I mean, I'm, right, right now I've started some stuff on Instagram. Yeah, I saw it. So uh, the so the lighting, lighting thing. I think I'm hoping that I remember. I want to put the link in in, in the bio. Yeah, the episode, you can. Right? I, yeah, two episodes out. Now. I've only done two weeks. Oh, okay. Yeah. I've seen one on lighting. Right? There's them. I'm not. There's, uh, there's one on a music video lighting technique. Right. And there's one on interviews. Right. The interview one. I yeah. Saw. So the next episode is exterior. Yeah. There are a number of things. All right, cool. Yeah, this yeah. is good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. All right, man. Does anybody have any question in the audience? You know, do you want to ask Tosin <laughs> anything? You audience. know, Tenny, Tobias. Tobias is here in the studio, and I don't know why he's here in the studio, but yeah, moving on. Yeah, yeah, I, I'm trying to leave him so that he'll be whatever. As cameraman, you always... I have a question. You have a question? I All right. Question. Okay. You got to come use the mic. No, I won't show you. This time you have a big part. Don't show me. Yeah, they put it, they put it there. Okay, hallos. Hallos. Um, so earlier on, you mentioned something about going to film school. Yes. Um, and I've heard a couple of filmmakers say that um, film school had like we, they went to film school, it was great and all of that. But then coming back to Nollywood, it was like rude shock. Like, oh my god, all okay. I learned was so for you. Was it the same thing? How how heavy was the impact of film school back home when you were trying to apply 
back okay. home in Nollywood? Was it, you know, did he have effect or yeah. it was like, nah, that was their, you know, stuff? Okay, no, the thing about the thing about it is that when I went to film school, in the first six months that I was in film school, I realized one thing. And that was the case that film schools or film teaching, it has a lot of stuff that is in the air. What I mean like in the air, like you can't really tangible, tangibly say this is like a writer would say, oh, you have to write what's in your soul. I let the characters just write. The director will say, find it in your, I mean like that kind of stuff. So me, I realized quickly that I needed to learn, press that keyboard, A, B, <laughs> was Y. I needed to learn the camera was, so I left, I actually did not, I was a director, I studied directing for a year. After a year, I changed to cinematographer, free editing, sound design, visual effects. Cause I realized that I needed to know how to do things and it would, it would help me a lot more than just, because a lot of people, I just want to be a director, they'll learn director, come back, and you have to find a DOP. Yeah. You don't really know anything, per se, physically. You kind of just have a lot of stuff in the air. Like, I'm a director, visually, I think, ideas streaming in my brain. Yes, I agree. But how can I understand what you're, how can I understand, how can you pass that to me? Mm. So when I came back to Nigeria, the, pro the biggest problem I had was Nigerian people. Because I already had knowledge of editing a number of things. So my base, my base, my biggest problem was, you want to shoot something at two o'clock, it's not going to happen. It's, you it's want, happening you, at seven. You, yeah. the, the problem, biggest problem with Nigeria is, is this is what me I realized. I can, as a director, do a storyboard, do a short list, yeah, do everything down, put it on a board, on set, come on set and say, everybody, this is the storyboard, this is the short list, this is the schedule. And when I go that side, the bros, what are we doing? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so when you, when you, and what they don't understand is if I do a short list, I know what I want to shoot. I'm doing a storyboard so for you, it's for you. When you ask your crew members, they think you're doing it for yourself. I do a storyboard so you can understand what I'm trying to do. But they'll look at your storyboard and say, bro, what's going to shoot? <laughs> I, I, it's, it's, it's the biggest thing. I remember doing, I remember, it's, this was on the eve, I'm not going to say which actors. <laughs> I did a I did a blocking sheet, which is like a paper. Okay, you move here. You color coded blocking sheet. Okay, you are going to move here. You're going to move there. And, and uh, my AD was there, and I drop it in front of the actors, and I said, "Okay, this is what this is how you go. You are, you are the red dot. You're going to do that. You're going to move here, move here, move here." And the minute I walk away, yeah, my AD tells this. Is what my AD tells me they do they shift it. Like, what is this guy? Doing? <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, and when I'm saying, everybody's like, "Yeah, yes, yeah, no, okay, I understand. Oh, I'm okay, no problem, man. no problem." And then and I walk out, you know, say, this guy, be talk too much. <laughs> and when we get on set, they're like, what are we, what are we doing? To <laughs> and you have to now start saying, move here, yeah, move there. So it, 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 now be, it now makes you like, it, like, like I think the productions will get better when you have, like, let's say, like, say, James is directing, I'm doing DOP, Clarence is doing that. When you have a team like that, you can imagine, that's what America is. That's yeah. what those productions, when you're in South Africa and you're shooting a production, that's what you have 10 people that are better or on your level on set. But in Nigeria, my guy. You yeah, understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So you kind of have to. That's the I, biggest I mean, shot I've, for me. I've, you, find, you find out that. That was the biggest shot. Bring the mic. Okay. So you find out that you have to break it down to. You, I think to you, the you, you kind of have to accept that. If you want to do a project and you mm -hmm. think it's 10, mm -hmm. just going on set is as 10 to 8. Yeah, it's 25. Yeah, 25. Okay. As, by the time, time you have something you want to do as 10, just understand that you're going to leave that set with maybe 4. Because I don't know how yet. I'm still trying to figure it out to go with ten and come back with ten. <laughs> okay, so would you? Sorry. sorry. Final, final, final question. question. Final question. Mm. So, would you still advise um, film school for filmmakers? I mean, I would say I would say good. I think once you walk into a class, if my own perception is, if you feel that, like I said, a lot of teachers come out and say, oh. Like actually, like with directing, with those topics, directing, writing, is a lot of stuff that it's it's like I cannot, you can't really hold it in. It's floating in the air. Yeah, floating in the air because it's find the character, find the soul. You have to find it. It's, you know, what I'm saying it's, even with acting stuff, it's very difficult to teach it. Like I say, so if you are going to go to film school, I'd say those things figure out on set. Those ones figure out by experience, but the technical stuff is what you should learn. So. You should learn how to operate the camera. If you're going to film school, go and learn camera, lighting, technicals, color space, the stuff, editing, visual effects. You know what I'm saying? Like so learn, the, learn the, 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 the stuff you the use. The actuals. Yes, the actuals that are, oh, A is B, B, C. The camera has a CMOS chip. Learn that so you have that knowledge. Then you, this, this air stuff, 
figure it out on set. Put the camera on, put the actor, say, act sad. You know what I'm saying? Figure out the best way for you to get it from them yourself because, like I said, that stuff is in the air. <laughs> All right, man. Um, Tosin, thank you so much for coming yeah, through. That was very insightful. Um, uh, sorry, I'm trying to charge my phone. Anyway, yeah, that was very insightful. Thank you so much for uh, what my pigeon. That, that, that was it. Give me a pigeon. Yeah, yeah. see my own phone. Let me take pictures. So. <laughs> yeah, I don't know my phone. No, no, no. He wants to take pictures. Are you going to send me pictures? We don't have to post them. Yeah. Oh, you send me pictures. <laughs> yeah. So, um, thank you so much for coming. Please, guys, don't forget to... Let me do it for you. Just bring it. Eh? No, no, no. Bring it. Let me do it for you. Oh, my gosh. Um, yeah, don't forget to subscribe to us. This is episode 11. We're going to keep going strong until Tenny tells me to shut down and then <laughs> do something else with my life. But yeah, um, we'll go, uh, episode 11, don't forget to follow us on Instagram, The Industry. Yeah, she, she, I, I, she didn't say I don't know what she said. Last episode. Yeah, I don't know what she's talking about. Oh my gosh. Anyway, um, uh, yeah, don't forget to subscribe to us. Uh, the Industry underscore J-O. Um, I'm going to put his his Instagram handle on the, the, the uh, this, uh, I mean, in our description, as I always say. Um <laughs> Uh, thank you so much for hanging out with us. Don't forget to touch the notification bell so you know when the episodes are coming. Yes. Um, what's that? The notification. Notification. The notification bell is down. It's down. It's down. 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 This way. This way. That way. Yeah. That way. Uh, don't forget to do that and also follow us on Instagram and follow my pages and his pages and you know keep up the good work. If you guys have any questions, of course you can email us at the industry. Uh, the industry hosted by James Omokwe at gmail.com. Um, ask questions, let us know, you know, what you got, and you know, uh, we'll respond to you um, as we can. Thank you so much for coming. No Any last words? Yes, Any yes, last words? <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, take it easy. Peace. <laughs>